I'm Kim for Winnie TV at uh, SMT AI in Rosemont, Chicago. I'm joined by Debbie Wade from ART. Now, Debbie, you've been really, really busy here. I've seen you rushing around. There's lots of activity going around, uh, going on here during the show. So, give us a little bit of a, uh, an overview of what what's new. What's new? Well, we are currently working on lots of committee work with the IPC, looking at bringing out the new revisions to the documents. We have had some really good meetings this week. We have had the J standard requirements for soldiering meeting for the new revision. So working on revision H, um, 610 also revision H. So we've been working as hard, um, trying to keep us entertained. Because <laughs> these are very, I mean, these are very long days for you, um, but very valuable days. But that also reflects on the developments within your own company, within ART. Yeah. So um, there's there's a lot of growth I'm, I'm hearing. For ART Definitely, coming yes. Up. We um, have outgrown our current facility, mm. so we've decided to relocate. We've purchased new commercial property, so we've gone from 2,000 square foot to about 10,000 square foot. So we're moving to that new facility in the new year. So mm -hmm. we will do a, a big promotional launch of our new facility. Hopefully, have a, a bit of a party to get people to come along. Always to good to see have the a new party. Place. Yeah. But um, in the the process of moving, we realised that. We don't just need a bigger space, we need more manpower. So we are actively looking for new trainers, people that come on board, that already have some knowledge of IPC that we can nurture mm -hmm. to go out and um, present training classes to mm -hmm. support the industry, support what ART as a company do. So some job openings coming up as well. And you're venturing out into the bigger world outside yes. of the UK as well. Yes, we are. Um, discussing moving into Europe so hopefully watch your space we should have a partnership and a ART Europe kind mm -hmm. of set up mm -hmm. hopefully again come in the new year yeah and those are great developments I think that probably uh, are reflecting also the, the the industry itself and everything that's going on within the industry now, you mentioned, obviously, the, the, the talent that you'll need for that expansion. How are you going, to, going about finding those people? Do we have enough people in, in this industry for that? Um, well, the way we've approached it, obviously, being quite a well-known company, we've been trading now. In fact, this, this month's our 30th anniversary, so we've been trading for quite a while. We've been talking to engineers that we know. We've been talking to um, trainers in most cases people that we have trained but we are, we are noticing that we don't have a lot of the younger generation coming through in the industry so a lot of the engineers are again a little bit grey and approaching retirement age and we found that's where we are lacking especially in Europe mm. that we are not um, bringing through um, potential engineers from school into college and not just engineers it's more the female engineers we, we, are, we are seeing that we're not keeping up with other countries mm. to bring those people through. And that will have an impact on, on my company as well. That if we were to take on a new trainer, how long they're going to be with us before mm. they are mm. considering retirement. Mm. So that's something else we've been looking at as a company, working with schools and colleges to try and expose them to sciences, engineering, to yeah. make them realise it is an exciting subject. Yeah, absolutely. And we're seeing a lot more activity in that direction. You also mentioned encouraging um, females to come mm. into the industry and making the industry attractive. So there's a lot of activity even here at the show and at different shows that um, are, 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 are sort of bringing together the, the, the new generation and, and encouraging it. Um, well, great success, therefore, for ART. Um, and, and some nice things in the pipeline. Where's your next stop in the world? Um, the next stop is, I'm going to Italy mm -hmm. in oh, literally a few weeks for the European IPC committee meetings, which I personally chair the European training and European standard steering. So we've got a three day event in November 19th to the 21st mm -hmm. in Genoa. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have the EU version of what we have here, of the um, IPC committee meetings. And then it's back to Vegas, back to Apex. Apex San, San Diego. Diego. Yeah, yes. so I'll see you there. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there'll be lots of announcements coming out from the IPC 
after this show yes. as well. Yes, there will be. We are looking at having the first IPC day in the UK. There has been one or two already held in Europe, which were a great success. They are normally a one day seminar kind of setup, um, normally free to attend, where we, we pick a subject um, and then encourage people to come along to, um, to make them familiar with IPC, how they can get involved. But pick a subject matter that is of great interest in the industry. Um, so we're having the first one um, in the UK early December. So the mm -hmm. IPC should be announcing that over the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. We've already secured a speaker from NASA to come along to give a probably half day workshop. And we are then looking at um, using that subject of um, space, high reliability, military, to have other speakers from the industry even if they are just from the manufacturing field. Mm. The issues that they come across when they are dealing with that high reliability environment to, in, to make people aware of the hurdles they have to mm. jump over mm. to meet that kind of high reliability specification. Mm. Great initiatives. Look forward to those announcements and uh, congratulations again on your Thank own you. company's success. Thank you. Thank you.